So if we were to click and drag and create a box, first of all, I want to make sure that I'm in fast. And I also want to make sure that I have zero on my laser cut depth so I can cut as deep as I want. So where was I? So I'm going to click and drag to create a box and we're going to press B in order to bevel. And if we press tab to basically drop this shape, we could press D and go inside the box helper in order to basically activate Q bevel, which will give us a second bevel, which gives us an option to basically flip the bevel, giving us a reverse bevel. If we click and apply, that operation is done. So this was the first shape that received the reverse bevel. The next one was circle, which required that we make an entirely new type of circle called polygon. If you're in polygon or star, you are able to perform a reverse bevel, but not inside of modifier as shown previously. So by drawing a circle, we can do the same thing. We could just press B, press tab, click on a reverse button. And here we are basically drawing a reverse bevel on a circle. So the next thing is of course, to add this to Ngon, but just letting users know that reverse bevel is possible with both box and circle at this time.